Hello everyone and welcome to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to filter across tables or across multiple pages within Power BI using one slicer. For example, I have a requirement over here wherein I have a tab with the sales information and I have another tab which has the invoice information and I want to compare let's say sales and invoices for the year 2021. So when I select 2021 in this particular slicer over here or 2020 for example in this particular slicer over here in my sales table also I, I want this to get filtered by the year 2020. So if I select in the invoice table 2021 I want my sales also to be filtered for the year 2021. Now these are two different tables of course, right? So if I show you the data over here, I have my sales table and then I have my invoice table. Both of them are coming in from two different tables. I've had a bad throat, so please bear with my voice. And so this is what I will be teaching you today. And uh, let's get started with this tutorial. Now the solution to this particular problem lies within the data model. Now what you can do is you need to add a calendar table to your model. I have made a tutorial on my channel and if you go to my channel and search for the keyword calendar you will come across this particular video and in the description of that particular video I have a little DAX code which you can copy and head back to Power BI and go to the modeling tab and click on new table. So over here you can paste the code which you just copied and you will have to make some changes over here example in this particular case so this is the start date of the calendar table and this is the end date of the calendar table so i'm going to define the i'm going to change this to take the minimum value from my order date so because i have the because the order date comes first and then the invoice the product gets ordered first and then it gets invoice so i know that if I take the minimum of my order date, I am not going to miss out on any of the dates which are there in the invoice table. So your case might differ. So you will have to choose this wisely. So in this case, I'm going to choose the min of my order date from the sale. So I'm going to change this value over here as well and change this to max of order date from my sales table. Then I'm going to commit this particular code over here. Now you will see that we've created a new table now what we can do is let's go back to our data model and in our data model you will see that we have a calendar table that is created. So we now need to create a relationship between these two tables. So let's create the relationship from invoice date to the calendar date. So this is the one to many relationship that is created. Likewise I'm going to create a relationship from the calendar table to the order date table in our sales table. So once the relationship has been created, let's head back to our report. So we now have the table which is now showing us the all the invoice spend for that particular duration that I have in that particular table and the sales. Likewise, I have my sales table as well. So now I'm going to add a new visual over here. This is a third party visual which I've added. It's called timeline. It's a nice little slicer kind of a timeline which gives us a uh, you can wherein you can add date to that particular timeline. So I'm going to bring in the date from the calendar table that we just created. Notice that I'm not creating or getting the date from the invoice table or the sales table, but from the calendar table that we just created, I'm going to bring the date over here. I'm going to copy this particular visual, go to my invoice tab and paste this particular visual. And then it asks whether you want to sync these two visuals or not. I'm going to say sync. So once this is done, so let's see if I click on 2020 right now, it is now filtered for the year 2020. Now, how do we see that it is actually filtering for the year 2020 or not? So what we can do is let's quickly add a table and bring in a column that I have called as year so that I can see that I have 2020 years that is filtered right now. If I uncheck or select entire thing over here, now all three years data is being displayed. If I select 2020, only 2020 gets filtered and this is the invoice data for the year 2020. Likewise for sales and you can see that let me bring in but from the sales table. So this time not from invoices but from the sales table. Now I've now got the year here as well. So let's select 2021 in our sales table. So this is our sales details. We have selected the year 2021 confirming over here. Let's go to the invoice table. You will see that we've now filtered for the year 2021. 
and we've got the invoice amount for the year 2021 and this is a confirmation that it is indeed filtered for the year 2021 using just one slicer so if i just select 2020 on this particular slicer in my invoice tab the sales table also gets filtered for the year 2020 so this is how you can filter multiple tables using just one slicer and also note that this will also work using the regular slicer that we have over here not necessary that you need to have this particular timeline i use this timeline visual only because it's a nice little visual which will let you select years and months in a nicer way i, I hope you like this tutorial please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials